Lately, I've been thinking a lot about CDs. Remember these things? The little flat, spinny donuts that gave us music, videos, and games in the 90s and 2000s? Whatever happened to these things? Every time I'm in the studio, I see the new CD section. It used to be filled with something new every couple weeks. But lately, I've been seeing the same batch for, well, almost a year. I think I keep emotionally clinging to this Eve Tumor CD, the only one I really recognized out of the bunch, kind of like my last portal to the pre-COVID world. But this isn't all. There's a whole wall of largely unplayed CDs from the last few years. It's a strange feeling to look through, far too new for nostalgia, but too old to feel part of this reality. This isn't all either. Behind a locked door is the mother load, the vault, hundreds upon thousands of discs and discs and discs, neatly organized in great condition with no one to play them. They're not growing in value. There's a security camera, but something tells me it doesn't get checked too often. What's going to happen to these things? The quality doesn't have the superiority of vinyl or the endearing hiss of cassettes. It's just kind of an eyesore, a lateral move from digital, and it takes up a lot of space. We're living in an era where the 2000s are approaching retro nostalgic status, but the mediums aren't following suit. There's no glamor, comparatively. It's utilitarian, and once there's an easier way to do it, why bother? Decades of history are becoming obsolete before our very eyes. I was thinking about this on my way to the station one day, when I saw even Eve wasn't there anymore. They hadn't integrated into the wall collage either, which was already growing more bare by the day. I felt a tinge of sadness, the band-aid finally ripping off, until I thought, why? Where did they go? Who could possibly have wanted these CDs? Was there a mysterious CD thief on the loose? Could there be a more absurd concept? To quell my anxieties, I decided to do an experiment. I headed to Nice Price, admiring their similarly large CD collection, and picked out something no one would want. Then I headed into one of Raleigh's most notorious dens of thievery. In the belly of the beast, I inscribed a message even the most heartless of criminals wouldn't ignore. I placed the CD, and left the rest up to fate. I returned the next day. Gone. How could this happen? Who was this disc thief? Who or what could possibly want all these? For what purpose? Humanitarian or nefarious? I decided to do some research. This was much, much bigger than I thought. And I knew where I needed to go.